had monitored the movements when they left uh, Sambisa uh, Kamzero when they went to they were split into uh, different uh, locations we monitored them and uh, we were pretty sure that with some serious efforts most of these uh, girls could actually uh, be located But what do we know about this, the man who you so, say... So, what did you make of the president's uh, okay. speech when he said that they were not quite sure if the girls were still alive? Well, for us, sincerely speaking, we are positive they are alive. Not all. Uh, secondly, they are well protected. By who? By the Boko Haram uh, terrorists. They give them preferential treatment by keeping them in one spot, apart from those that have been married out, a lot are still within the camp. So I believe that they are being used for a purpose. The purpose is that the world have come to accept the fact that these girls are important. And Boko Haram know that the importance of their campaign for now depends entirely on these girls. So they won't just let go they will have to fight to pick these girls out of their domain. But do you have intelligence as regards their exact location now? You, you talked about them being by the dam. Yes. Is that where the girls are? We have done our best. We provided the necessary information to the establishment, telling them where we feel they are. Because the thing is that these girls, they are unique in wherever location they are found in. One, they don't speak the language of the locals within. The protection they are given is different from the others. So people come to accept the fact that these girls are this and they are protected. They are not allowed to move around the way other uh, hostages move. Let me ask this question. Around that Sambisa, there are other communities that live around there. Yes. Are they still living there? Or a lot of them. Sad? Yes, a lot. Even with the Boko Haram movement yes. around there, the community is still yes. there. So is it the communities that help you with the information as regards their movement? And how safe are they? Well, they are safe. They are safe. And we've told, uh, once in a while we tell them, the Air Force operates frequently within the area. Please do not drop bombs within this area because most of these girls are staying under trees now. That is the information we have, and that is the information we passed across. So this news, or what the Boko Haram leader was said in that video, that some of the girls were killed by um, Air Force bombardment, what's your reaction to that? Well, as a former air defense officer, I cannot say I doubt what they said. Because when you drop bombs, you cannot imagine the radius at which it explodes. It depends upon the, the surface it lands. So it, it could happen. I can't rule that out. And the fact remains that at the end of the day, these things will come to light because you will definitely know that certain things happened and these were the reasons or the causes of uh, what happened behind. So for me, I cannot say it is a lie, but it's a 50-50 issue. Mm. But the army says it's not true. Well, what did you make of the journalists, uh, who were the, the, the people who were declared wanted? Honestly, I don't have an idea about what role they were meant to play or what role they are playing that led to the involvement with the, with the military and subsequent uh, uh, request for them to report. But this man who you say that they handed the Chibot girls to, do the establishments, do they know about this? Well, we did our best. We provided this information. This Girls, 40 in number, were brought to social location. They were handed over to Malaya Mari. If it is within 
and they were able to find out yes or no, I wouldn't know. But the truth remains that they were brought there. And since they were brought, within the past two weeks, the number had increased. We monitor most of these things. Yes, they hear. And the fact remains that those who provide the information are ever willing and ready to take you physically to these areas. So it's not an issue of hearsay. It's somebody willing and ready to take you to where he told you these people are located. But you, you know, you keep saying that you provide information to the authorities, but why do we hear them on the daily keep saying as well that uh, nobody knows the location of these girls? Well, the, the authority or authorities have 1,001 sources of information. Maybe they might not uh, believe what will be given them and so decided not to use but i know for intelligence every little information is important you must follow it to the last point to say no it is not a valuable information have they ever made use of any intelligence that your group has given them they've done a lot especially when we locate Boko Haram preparing for an attack uh, stockpiling weapons, equipment, certain areas, or moving to certain places, we inform them, and most times they actually respond. So why and do you think this is different? Not. Why are they not responding particularly with? The I, 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 I don't really know, but the fact remains that uh, for over a year we've been monitoring the Chibo girls for over a year, and we have been consistent in feeding the establishment with the necessary information we can, which. We've been able to, to uh, I mean, uh, assemble to ourselves and then we'll, we'll, we'll pass on. When last did you feed them? Uh, for instance, about uh, three days ago, discovered that the Air Force were a little bit active in the environment which we suspect they are located, and we told them, please, do not drop bombs within this area because the girls are not under bunker anymore, they're under trees. They are not in bunkers anymore. They are under trees. So if you throw bomb within this environment, it might affect them. We did. When you, you've talked about bunkers, this is the third time you're mentioning bunkers. Um, you mean the Boko Haram said became that strong as to have time to build their bunkers? Yes, Boko Haram in uh, Kamzero had bunkers, and that was where most of those girls were kept. And other uh, special visitors, <laughs> excluding the girls. They, 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 were oh, kept they, they receive visitors. I'm talking of visitors, quote unquote, those that they were able to pick here and there that are vital to them. Okay, you 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 consistently use the word we. Yes, we. But you'll probably get into that when we come back after this break to tell yeah. us about it.